the best way to open native Apple Keynote presentations is to through the official Apple website. So simply head to iCloud.com and here you will need to log in to your Apple ID. But don't worry if you are not an Apple user. It's a free account you can create. So you can sign in if you got account or you can create a brand new account. If you are not Apple user, there's a create Apple ID button over here. And it's very similar to a Google account to use Google Docs or Microsoft account to use a Microsoft Word in the website. So that's just a free account to use Apple products directly in your web browser. I'm going to sign in to my existing account. After you log in, it will take you to a dashboard on iCloud.com where you can see some web apps developed by Apple. So the same way we can use Google Docs directly in the browser, we can use Apple Pages, Apple Numbers, and Apple Keynote directly in your web browser. So let's click Keynote, and it will take us to the app we need today. From here, we can create a new presentation, but in our case, we want to upload the existing one that we got on our drive to open it up. So I click on this little cloud icon here to upload. As you can see, my presentation is loading right now. And with this check mark, I'm ready to open it up. So just double tap on it and it should open in the new tab on your web browser. Even if you are on Windows, even if you are on a Chromebook, doesn't matter. It's all in the web browser through the official Apple website. And here it is. You can make changes to it directly here. So you can edit that for free using this iCloud Keynote. Or if you like to download the PowerPoint version of it, you can do it as well. So if you click those three dots here and you want to download a copy to your local machine, you will have three options. Native Keynote, PDF or PowerPoint. If you plan to continue editing it, I recommend PowerPoint. PDF is perfect for printing it out. All right, so that's how you open a native Apple Keynote presentations on any device, simply using iCloud.com by Apple. I hope this was helpful. Let's learn more about Apple Keynote in the next tutorial.